Hello everyone, welcome back to TidyStat YouTube channel. In the previous video, we made a cross tabulation with the output values in the output table. If you haven't watched it yet, please check the link in the description. The next question is, how do you create a cross tabulation output table in the percentage form? Can we do it in SPSS? The answer is yes, SPSS also provides this feature. We can also perform this task easily. By displaying the data in percentage form, it will be easy for us to compare the data in each subcategory. Also, percentage will give us more meaningful and interpretable information. To calculate the percentage in cross tabulations analysis, go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Cross Tabs. Here, let's select the gender for the row and the smoking status for the column you can adjust the variable based on your own data set and to show the data in percentage form go to cells option here click and then you can see several options at the dialog box in the count field you can uncheck the observe section because this is the value that appears in its original form in the SPSS cross tabs in the percentage field this is the option to change the data from the original value to the percentage. There are three options provided by SPSS, the row, column, and the total. I personally prefer the row option because it makes the data display in output easier to understand. But in the end of the video, I will also show you how SPSS will show the output table if we choose the column option. And for now, Check the rows option and click continue. And then click OK. Great, you are successfully generating a cross tabulation in SPSS in percentage form. With this percentage display, we can compare the data between rows or between columns easily. We see that there are 50% of male who smoke and also 50% of non smokers. For a female, the percentage of female who smoke is higher, the value is 57.1%, and the female who don't smoke is 42.9%. At the total, we see that the smoker is 53.0% and the non-smoker is 47.0%. Now, let's try to create a cross tabulation with the column options provided by SPSS earlier. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Graph Tabs. Here, SPSS memorize our previous task and just leave it, and then click Cells options here, and at the percentage field, uncheck the row and click the column, and then click Continue, and click OK. Great, another cross tabulation is generated in the output window. Let's delete this case processing summary table so we can see the difference between these two uh, cross tabulations clearly. Here, this is the cross tabulations in row format and this is the cross tabulations in column format. There is a clearer difference if we make a cross tabulation based on rows or based on columns. If it is in rows, SPSS divides the percentage in each subcategory based on the total value in the row. Meanwhile, if it is based on the columns, SPSS calculates the percentage of subcategories based on the total value in the column. If we take a look at the column cross tabulation format, there are 54.7% male smokers and 45.3% female smokers. Then. There are 61.7% male non-smoker and also there are 38.3% non-smoker female. And if you calculate it based on the column, you see the total is 100%. And if you total it based on the row, of course the total is not 100% because SPSS doesn't calculate it based on the row. For me, personally, I prefer to use the row format because it is easier to use and it is easy to interpret. That's it. See you in another video.